This video explains how to set the working directory in RStudio to the source file location automatically in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. As you can see, I have already opened an R script in RStudio. And now let's first check the current working directory of our session. And we can do that, as you can see in line two of the code, using the getwd function. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio the path of our current working directory. So as you can see, currently our working directory is the desktop of my computer. Now let's assume that we want to change the working directory to the working directory where the source file is located. So as you can see on my desktop, I have stored a folder which is called my folder and in this folder you can see the file in which we are currently working in our studio and now let's assume that we want to set our working directory to this working directory automatically then we can apply the functions of the our studio api package and for this we first need to load the package as you can see in line four of the code and then in the next step, we can use the setWD function in combination with the dearName function and the getActiveDocumentContext function. And of the getActiveDocumentContext function, we need to extract the path of our current file. So after running line six of the code, our working directory is changed to the source file location. So after running this line of code, our working directory is changed as we can see by running the getwd function once again and now you can see that the path of our current working directory was changed to the folder on my desktop. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.